Disney's Disability Access Service, or DAS, allows park guests to schedule a return time for an attraction so that you're not um, waiting in line for an extended period of time. It is now all electronically done um, through the same system as the Fast Pass and your Magic Band. Your return time will be based upon whatever the standby line's wait time, current wait time is. So for instance, if it was 11 a.m. and there was a two hour wait for Peter Pan and you requested a return time from a cast member, they would have you come back after one o'clock in the afternoon. So now that you know a little bit about the um, disability access service, um, let me tell you how you get it. Um, first thing, when you go into the park, it, it doesn't have to be Magic Kingdom, it could be any guest relations lobby. That's where you're going to head to first. Um, this past trip, we went to the Magic Kingdom for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party first. And so um, I, um, I went into the lobby area at City Hall um, in, in the Magic Kingdom on Main Street. Uh, something important to note is um, you're actually going to, if you're wheelchair bound or have a rolling walker or need a ramp, um, you're going to want to use the entrance to the left of City Hall that is in the Chamber of Commerce. There's a, a walkway and a ramp that takes you into guest services in City Hall. That way you can avoid the stairs. So once you make your way into the guest relations lobby, um, you're going to be directed to an open cast member. And um, you're going to roll up to them and say, I'm requesting assistance based on a disability. And then you're going to tell them why you need assistance um, during your vacation at the Disney World Resort. It's important to know that um, they're interested in how they can help you have the best experience, uh, the best vacation possible. And so the more information that you can provide for them, the better they're going to be able to meet your needs. Um, everybody is different. And so um, um, my specific uh, disability is going to be different from, you know, even another person that has chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, and lupus. And so um, you just need to be as specific as possible in saying what your challenges are. Um, it could be you have an anxiety disorder. How does that affect you, though? It's um, not enough to say I have lupus, I have fibromyalgia. Uh, you need to say, you know, um, I have lupus with a uh, photosensitivity. And so I can't be out in the sun. I can't uh, for long periods of time. And also um, I get sick under fluorescent lighting. So the cast member that's helping sign you up for the program or to just give you accommodations based on your needs, um, they may decide that you don't need DAS. Uh, not everybody qualifies. Just because you're wheelchair bound um, or you're unable to stand in the standard queue, it doesn't automatically qualify you for DAS. So if you do not qualify for DAS, what um, Disney might do to accommodate you is if you say, you know, that, um, say for instance, you have a sprained ankle, um, which would be a, t a temporary mobility issue. Disney might provide you just with a manual wheelchair and expect you to wait in the standard uh, standby line. So once you've qualified for DAS, then you're going to start the registration process and the cast member is going to use an iPad or some tablet to help get you set up. 
she he or she will scan your magic band and they will um, at some point uh, pass you the tablet that has the terms and conditions on there uh, which you will have to agree to they will also need to take your photo and the reason why they take your photo is because um, the disabled um, the disabled park guest needs to actually be riding uh, whatever attraction in order for the whole group to um, to board the ride at that time. So after they've taken your photo and um, gotten you signed up as the disabled park guest, then they'll need to um, scan the tickets or magic bands of everyone in your party and you're allowed to have up to five, uh, five additional guests uh, linked to your um, magic band for the DAS Pass. Once everybody's um, registered to the DAS Pass, it's time to ride. So to get your first return time, what you will do is um, you will go up to the cast member um, at the gate of the attraction that you want to ride. Excuse me, could I possibly get a return time for the disability access card? And they will scan your magic band and tell you what time you need to come back. You guys are going to come back anytime after 11.51. Awesome, thank you. That will show up in the um, in the app on your smartphone, just like FastPass would. When it's time for you to come back, you just go through um, the FastPass queue. Okay. Okay. You touch your band, and you'll see it will go blue. And then. Um, the rest of the members of your party will just scan their their band just like they would for a fast pass and then you go ride and then when you're done riding you can get your next return time your return time is going to be redeemable until the park closes at the end of the day and so say for instance you just ran out of steam you just could not handle staying in the park until um uh, one o'clock to ride Peter Pan. You go back to your hotel, you take a nap, and then uh, around four o'clock in the afternoon you decide that you're going to work your way back to the Magic Kingdom. Um, you can ride P Peter Pan first thing when you get back into the park or I mean you could wait until after dinner time. It's just you can only have one DAS return time at a time. So you won't be able to get a new DAS return time until you have ridden um, Peter Pan or uh, if you've had that, that DAS um, return time canceled, then you could say um, go to Big Thunder Mountain and get a return time for that. So the disabled um, uh, park guest needs to um, ride the attraction. Um, it's not even just be present, they actually need to be riding. So um, if, for instance, I was having a high pain day and I couldn't handle being jostled around on Space Mountain, uh, my guys would have to go through um, the standby queue. I wouldn't be able to get a return time for that. Um, they will also check for that picture. Um, so I couldn't just give my magic band to my husband and be snoozing back at um, the Art of Animation Hotel. Uh, so they really don't want people gaming the system um, and ruining it for everyone. If for any reason um, you've used your DAS pass and it's not enough um, to accommodate you, um, you know, feel free to stop back by guest relations and say, 
I think I need a different type of accommodation um, in addition to this because, and then explain what your needs are. And um, I think you will find that most of the time uh, they're very accommodating. I hope this information helps you in planning your Disney vacation. Um, it is the happiest place on earth and I know that it can be difficult for us with chronic illness and, um, you know, it can be hard for us to travel. And I think Disney has always gone above and beyond in um, trying to make my stay as magical as possible. And that's why I just love Disney so much. I hope you like this video. Um, if you want to see more from me, make sure you like and subscribe. Tell me your experience using the DAS Pass or any other kind of accommodations Disney has made for you. Um, and until next time, don't waste those spoons.